Who will be joining them tomorrow? We'll see Chelsea take on Leicester. And then it's the late game, Manchester United against Liverpool. I wonder if anyone is actually going to go for a result for Manchester United in this tie. Uh, no, it's all Liverpool. And that's not a surprise. And it won't be a surprise if Liverpool win at Old Trafford because that's where we are these days, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, look, in times of trouble over the past, and I'm thinking back to the odd occasion when Solskjaer was the manager and they've gone to, say, Man City and... We all sat here and went, they're going to get battered. Yeah. And they've came away with a, a, a win because they played on the counter-attack and, and they suck City in. I know it's not Man City tomorrow, but just making the point that it's happened before, but it could happen against Liverpool. If it does, I think that's the way that it will play out. I don't, I don't see any way that this United side uh, are going to dominate possession because we've seen them not dominate games against Fulham against Bournemouth at home where they got battered, against Luton away where they won and, and, and they were lucky. Even the Everton game uh, where they won 2-0 with the two penalties, Everton, it was incredible, Everton had 50% possession. Now, they, they're a side who sort of live, Everton that is, on 30 to 35% possession. And here they are going to Old Trafford and somehow getting a foothold in the game. If Liverpool play... The way they did last week, and that is going to be difficult, as you know, because they were, and we all agreed, they were brilliant last week in that, that uh, big game at Anfield. They should have won. Uh, didn't. If they play like that, is there anybody going to come up with an argument into how United are going to stop it? Yeah. Bearing in mind, you know, we've put up graphics on this FC show time and time and time again about the amount of shots that United have been allowing on Anana's goal mm -hmm. and that it wouldn't last and that this little... Uh, run that they were on when people were saying, oh, United, no, it was never going to last and they'd get the odd result. But can they give up that amount of territory potentially against this Liverpool team and expect to get anything? I don't think so. The, the thing for me with, with, with this Newcastle side, and uh, 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 Manchester United, excuse me, and again, we could make the argument that this season kind of hinges on this. We were talking about it earlier and wondering whether England would be getting that fifth, fifth spot for a Champions League. We're talking about Manchester United holding on to a hope of finishing fifth and that England get a f uh, the fifth spot for, for the Champions League. That's kind of how far it's, it's, it's drifted for them. So whereas their season isn't totally over, um, you, you can make the argument that at home to Liverpool in the FA Cup, at this stage of, of the competition, a win here would, would mean an incredible amount for, for, for that fan base. Um, that being said, other than the emotion of it and... and, and kind of significance of, of, of the result, it's hard from a footballing perspective to make that argument. Given what we've seen from Liverpool over recent weeks, given what we've seen from Manchester United pretty much uh, all season, you just, don't, you just don't see this going Manchester United. If Liverpool week. go and press United like they did City at home, City, try, City are the best team in England until somebody topples them. They're the best team in Europe until somebody topples them, potentially this year. They couldn't. Ha they tried to play out. They couldn't. They, even they, with their quality players, could not play through the Liverpool press. So what does Ten Hag do? Do they try and still play out if Liverpool do that? And I don't see any reason why Liverpool wouldn't. Or do they then just try and go long? And then it becomes long balls up to, 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 the, to mm. maybe Rashford or whoever it is and Van Dijk and they'll scoop it up. And then it'll just keep coming back. So how do they play it? What's Ten Hag's game plan here? Liverpool will have a game plan. That's why they are where they are in the league. That's why they're in all these big competitions. What's Ten Hag's game plan going to be? Because it can't just be, oh, win it back, knock it long to Marcus Rashford. Let's try and knock it. There has to be something more. And at this moment in time, from what we've seen, there hasn't been a plan B. In fact, for most of it, there hasn't been a plan A. All will be revealed, of course, tomorrow in a match that you can watch live here on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, me, Shaka, and Stevie in the studio. Craig Burley on the call with John Champion. That's the late game preceding that at Stamford Bridge. We're up early for Chelsea against Leicester City.